That's my opinion! Hello fellow human being. Hi. How you doing? It's um day 21. I'm kind of on edge. I'm just it's stressed cuz it looks like we're not going to get cast until episode 9. And tonight we're going to be watching episode 5. So These aren't even supernatural talks anymore. It's just me becoming an alcoholic because supernatural is dumb. <laughs> I'm scared to say the least. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Genuinely do not know if it's plot driven or not. It looked like it was monster of the week, but last week also looked like it was monster of the week. So it might be plot driven, question mark. Oh, another thing about this episode. It is Steve Yoki, <laughs> my man, Steve Yoki. This is his last episode that he is ever gonna write for the show. And I'm so sad. Oh, Steve Yoki is just, he's amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. I'll put some clips here of scenes that he wrote. This is me learning from my mistakes. If I plan to do anything else stupid, I'll let you know. They get to fifth base. There's no such thing as fifth base. Oh, you poor sheltered boy. Anyway, what's by is by, and who knows? Your brother here? Sam? Yeah, yeah, he's still alive too. He's. Oh. Oh. Okay. These are my friends. My friends who don't listen very well. Jack would rather kill you than hug you. What did she teach you? Uh, mostly how to seduce men. She also times some magic, which is actually more useful. Yeah, mostly the men thing. <laughs> you want to die. But I say, keep living. You changed other people's fates. Maybe we can change yours. And you have been with us every step of this long, crazy thrill ride. And no matter how crazy you got, you never back down. And that takes real strength. Thank you. I'm scared, Sam. All the time. I've seen it too. What he really looks like behind... Behind whatever vessel. That still keeps me up at night. Do it. You blast me away, you'll blast away every angel in the room. I'll survive. Castiel, on the other hand, he's hurt. He might live, or he might just end up a bloody smear on the wall. Roll the dice. You okay? No. Sam, I'm not okay. I'm pretty far from okay. You don't have to wait till then It's now too late to start all over again Come the frick on! Steve Yoki deserved the world. This show did not deserve him. Literally, the only writers that deserve rights are Steve Yoki, Davy Perez, Robert Barons, and Meredith Glynn. They're the only ones <laughs> that deserve anything. <laughs> yeah, before we get into this little disclaimer, again, obviously, I love Cass. I love Dean Cass. Not your thing. Totally cool. Don't have to tell me. If you're gonna be nasty about it, you can just leave. So, let's get on with it. Oh, I swear to God if they don't mention Cass. Oh no. Way to be a downer. 
Why do they all look like the same person? I have a philosophy degree and I drive Uber. Oh God, <laughs> that's too real. See? <laughs> let's go ladies, let's go. What was that? Oh God, are they gonna die? A deer or something. It's never a deer. A deer is not gonna kill you. A d it's never a deer. Oh, that's great. The music is so good. Oh my God. <gasps> Stereotypical beginning, but I have hope. Uh, maybe, oh, I shouldn't have hope. Hello, Sam. Where's your little brother? <laughs> Oh <gasps> no! Oh, this is so sad. Hey. No! <laughs> Didn't D not tell him yet? I like all jerkies, dude. Ghost peppers are. Is that a <laughs> euphemism? <laughs> uh, you should have another piece. That's fine. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> oh, I love their brother moments. I love it. I love them so much. Okay. <gasps> yeah, I forgot Richard Spades Jr. directs this episode. Oh. Is that? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Who? Oh my god. Is that the cult? <gasps> it's Sam. Oh my god. Forgive me. <gasps> is that Lucifer Sam or is that still Demon? <gasps> oh no 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 no! What is happening? We both knew it had to end this way. Oh, don't no! What is happening? Come on, I'll, uh, I'll Freud you. No, do not bring up that. <gasps> Sigmund Freud can choke. Oh my god. Like nothing has changed, it's... I know, Sam, nothing you can't changed. talk. Sam, you look totally different. You sure? That's what the mug says. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so you think a person did this? If he did, he's a monster. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever you're about to say, I want you to know that we've heard worse. We've heard a weirder. But from her perspective, she's probably like, uh, okay, what's the worst that a person in wildlife could hear? Werewolves. Monsters. You're really They're doing all... the talk with her. You have to protect me. I promise you I will. Oh, she's gonna die for sure. <laughs> Oh, she's definitely gonna die. Because we don't want visitors. Right, well, we'll be quick. Okay, Tell me. weirdo. So we can reach you for a follow-up? <gasps> it's, uh, oh, oh, oh. We don't have a phone. It's silver, boy. Sam, you're still so smart. Us, we'll be here. <laughs> but I guess they're smarter, so this is great. Oh, that was a cool Maybe shot. Maybe we can help. I, I didn't know what to say. I, would, I wouldn't have to say anything if you didn't kill those girls. But I did. <laughs> and you said you got the other one. You oh, said you made her so hurt, funny. But, but I made her promise not to tell. Oh God, that worked out great. <laughs> I didn't, Dad would never have. Dad is dead. Oh God, why? Hey. Ooh, season two, Sam before. and Dean, hello? We'll just grab one of the rooms next door. There you go. Thank you. Oh, she's definitely dead. Feels weird. We, we roll into town, there's an eyewitness. We find them immediately. Didn't it seem a little too easy? <gasps> she's, she's a- Is he's good? She's a werewolf, for sure. Sh <gasps> is she a werewolf? Oh my Can god. Stay with me. Oh god. Just until I fall asleep. Oh, Dean. No. Oh, sure. You horny yeah. little- Oh no. <laughs> oh, great. You sure? Love this. Oh god, what's gonna happen? This has all been too simple. Do you like your job? What do you mean? 
I mean, monsters. <laughs> this is an existential crisis for Dean. Oh God. I'm where I'm supposed to be. This is so sad. I just moved back here and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my life. This hits too close to home. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if everything was just planned out for you? <laughs> oh, God. If it was all just already decided. Oh, Dean would think otherwise. <laughs> oh, are you for real? I don't know. She was with you. Oh, come the hell on. Is she really gonna die, huh? Talk, and I want to eat her heart. Ew, chill out. Oh my god. Hey, uh, where'd they- uh, what? <laughs> where did they? Oh, okay. Did Sam just get knocked out? <sighs> okay, 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 he's fine. <laughs> But he was never going to stop. And he turned into a monster. Oh, wow. This is a great parallel between them and... And I'm a monster, too. Oh, come on. Really got a parallel between them and Sam and Dean. Oh! It's barely halfway through. What is happening? That's way too easy. What the hell? Okay. Don't touch me! Oh. What? Are you kidding me? Well, this is a. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> what? And I was doing so well, too. What is this? You don't remember, little old me? <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, no! No way! Lilith? What?! Lilith?! She... She... She was dead! Oh my god, is she not... She's not dead anymore! Oh my... I need a minute. Sleep in the big sleep until the boss brought me back. The boss? Lucifer? No, you idiot, Chuck. Supposed to get rescued and in a moment of sweet relief, seduce Dean, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, that's not happening now, so. Oh, well. The magic gun. The one he gave you. The cult? The equalizer. Oh. I'm not calling it that. Angel Blade, you upgraded. No. Lady, you have no <laughs> Oh, this is new. Did she really knock out Sam? First one of the season, yay! I should have spent more time with you the last go around. I, I... Then you can kill me. Except, like I said, I can't. Oh, she can't Still, kill them? A girl has needs. Oh my god. So, by the time I'm through with you, you'll be begging to die. Oh, okay. So. Um. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Is it Deanman or Mark of Cain Dean? Oh, it's Deanman. That shirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? I'm so confused. <gasps> I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. No. What is happening? I had to die for what I wanted most. And then you two went and screwed it all up. Well, yeah, but that was, that's what that they tend to do. Guess that's why you had to see the werewolf bros die the way they did? Because... Foreshadowing. Oh, Steve Yoki, I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. What? 
Devil's Treble. We upgraded. No way. Why would I ever tell you anything? Because I've killed you before. Oh, shit! Oh. Well, this was fun. You know what? They're doing the same shit that happened with the cults. They're cash. <gasps> yeah, straight to voicemail. Okay. No! God was supposed to be gone. Oh, I wish, honey. Yeah. I mean, what's he gonna do? Just throw our greatest hits at us? Probably. It's your last season. Oh, he's gonna tell him. They all end the same way. With us killing each other. You're just telling me this now? I, I, I thought <laughs> Chuck's endings. You know, different ones. How would that be no. possible? Because of the wound. What if somehow I'm in his head? Ooh, is Sam gonna become the new god by the end of this? Because I would be into that. We just keep running in this, this... freaking hamster wheel until we die? Isn't that life? Fight God. I mean... You try to do it before. Without the gun. <laughs> it's God, Sam. <laughs> and he's coming for us. What does that mean? <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to fight God? Tune in next week. <laughs> Time to watch the trailer, I guess. Boy, there are things in this world that are <gasps> human. Look at you. Well, you got a burial. Game on can do as you're told and die quick, or you can play tough. It's up to you. We get Cass! <laughs> we get Cass! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Why am I crying? I literally thought we were gonna have to wait like a month to see him. Oh, I'm so happy. But is this lady, I feel like, I feel like we've seen her before. Or maybe she's in a different show, I don't really know. Oh my God. Like, I'm sorry, is that Eileen? Oh my God, this episode. <laughs> oh my God. I don't have any more alcohol, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get into it. Steve Yoki, my man, what the hell was that? What was that? So this episode, we had <laughs> a lot of stuff go down. So we first had Monster of the Week, run of the mill type of stuff going on with the whole werewolf and uh, you know that situation and then we obviously had a you know survivor we were trying to save the survivor and then we we're like oh no is the monster gonna kill them what's gonna happen so the monsters kill each other and the survivor is lilith lilith yes the one that died at the end of season four Lilith. I'm gonna say it again. Lilith. What is happening? I don't know anymore. So yeah, Lilith is back. I literally don't know how to feel because Lilith was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure the end of season four, I'm pretty sure it was season four where um, Sam killed her. That's probably one of my favorite episodes ever because it was just so beautiful, like, it just amazing in general. So I don't know how to feel with her coming back after that really good ending, because the way that they ended Lil's character, I'm not gonna lie, was amazing. So the fact that she's now back and it's like, oh, it, you know, nothing matters anymore, basically. It kind of pisses me off, but also, um, that was a whole re- like, that was a whole thing with the end of season 14, things are coming back that we've already de dealt with. So I understand why she's back, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I genuinely don't know what to say about the whole little thing. I just, I don't know what they're gonna try to do with it. Cause like, okay, she destroyed the equalizer. Okay, cool. Now we don't have a defense against God. What's her next game? Like what's her game plan? I don't really know. Cause like her game plan in the, like originally, was to get Lucifer out. <gasps> oh my God, is she gonna get Lucifer out and then have him possess 
Sam, again. Oh god, I, I'll kill myself. Please don't do that. But yeah, other than that, um, Sam and Dean this episode, it was cool. Um, again, like the first half of this episode, I was like, it's fine. Second half, um, after Lilith, like, like, showed herself, whoo, went down. Oh my god, that was insane. But yeah, in general, this episode, I, I just don't know how to feel. I'm kind of conflicted, because it was like a stereotypical monster of the week, but also, it just kind of felt very anticlimactic at the end. Cause he was like, oh, Lilith's back and she's gone. She's not gonna do anything. And Lilith kind of made up the excuse like for why she can't kill them because Chuck has a plan and she's not allowed. Which that whole like concept of like uh, Lilith not like killing Sam and Dean because Chuck told her not to Girl, you literally sacrificed yourself so that Lucifer could come back and that he can fight Michael and be the new god, basically. Like, you wanted Lucifer to basically overrun the world, so I don't know why you're listening to Chuck. Maybe she's okay with Chuck and she- I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm misinterpreting that whole situation. Nonetheless, it just seems convenient to the plot that Chuck uh, kind of sent out like a bat signal and was like, hey, don't kill Sam and Dean. They're mine. But yeah, I'm probably looking way too much into that. So who cares? Yeah, anything else about this episode? I don't think so. Um, oh, uh, the whole vision thing <laughs> that Sam is doing. Not gonna lie amazing concepts for the last season of a show to have one of the characters having visions of like possible endings with all of the uh like different variations of each character from the past like the whole demon and um uh demon blood sam and lucifer sam all of them i it's it's just really cool i really like it it makes me sad nonetheless but um it's very cool to see them on the screen again but now of course it's a uh, um kind of confirmed that what he's seeing is what Chuck normally uh, saw when he was trying to like write and come up with uh, endings for Sam and Dean. So basically what we're seeing is what Chuck would see and that's scary. <laughs> so yeah, there's not much else I need to say about this episode because it was pretty straightforward in the sense that there was no uh, like episode subplot. It was just uh, Sam and Dean focused. So yeah, in general, a good episode. It was really cool. Um, first half, pretty boring, not gonna lie. Second half, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, next week, uh, I guess it's witches, uh, apparently. I don't know if the actress that plays the witch, I don't know if she's familiar because she's been in the show before or if she's been, if she's just a famous actress, I'm pretty sure she's pretty popular, but um, I, I don't think she's been in the show before, but I could be wrong. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. Um, again, doesn't look plot driven, but as we saw with this episode, we can't judge a book by the trailer. <laughs> These past weeks, it's, um, oh, I'm pretty sure every episode, we've had something that helps us add to the rest of the season. So I'm hoping for a little bit of that. And on top of that, we get Cass. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Cause I thought for sure we weren't gonna see him until episode nine because uh, Jensen at a recent con was like, oh guys, can't wait for episode nine when you get to see Cass and Dean you know, interact finally. I don't know if it's the type of episode with the situation where it's like, Cass calls up Sam and Dean and it's like, hey, there's this monster. Go fight it, goodbye. It, like that type of thing. And they just don't interact at all after that. Or if they actually <laughs> interact. I, I can't believe I'm actually hopeful for this. Oh God, Cl cue the clown music. Why am I like this? <laughs> 
but yeah, other than that, I don't, I didn't really see anything else in the trailer that's, uh, you know, struck my fancy with that. This episode, okay. Yikes, <laughs> Lilith is here and she's ready to party, apparently. But yeah, with that, that's all I gotta say about this week's episode. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's, that's good my for opinion. Me. Why don't you tell it to his face instead of me? I've and told to him, instead of my friend. works on better than me and Why you? don't you just say to him, I don't think you're a good guy. Leave me out of it. Leave my friend when out of it. Oh my God. And That's this happened problem. in the very beginning of the season. And the last time I saw him, he talked.